Chapter Eight, Money. Hi, what are you counting? I am counting the money I have saved in my piggy bank. What is money? Everyone uses money for buying and selling things. It is expressed in terms of rupees and paise. We use symbols for rupees and p for paise. And one rupee is equal to one hundred paise. Writing rupees and paise together, we usually express a price of a thing in both rupees and paise. For example, the price of a chocolate is rupees twenty-five and fifty paise. Instead of writing the price as rupees twenty-five and fifty p. We use a small dot to separate rupees and paise. So rupees twenty-five and fifty p will be written as rupees twenty-five dot five zero. Remember, the number on the left side of the dot shows rupees, and that on the right side of the dot shows paise. How can we convert rupees into paise? To convert rupees into paise, we multiply the number of rupees by one hundred. And to convert rupees and paise into paise, we simply remove the point. For example, rupees two is equal to two into one hundred paise is equal to two hundred paise, and rupees three point six zero is equal to three sixty paise. How can we convert paise into rupees and paise? To convert paise into rupees and paise, we put a point after counting two numbers from the right of the given number. For example, five hundred ninety-three paise is equal to rupees five point nine three. Addition of money. Do you know the addition of money? Yes. We can add money as we add other numbers. For example, to add seventy-three rupees seventy-five paise and twenty-six rupees eighty-six paise, arrange the rupees and p columns respectively. Add the figures in the p paise column first, then add the figures in the rupees column. Thus. The number is rupees one hundred point six one. Subtraction of money. Then it means that subtraction of money is similar to subtraction of ordinary numbers. For example, to subtract rupees eighty one seventy seven paise from rupees hundred eighteen paise, arrange the rupees and p columns respectively. Subtract the amount in paise column first. Borrow one, that is hundred paise, from the rupees column. We get hundred paise plus eighteen paise is equal to one hundred eighteen paise. Subtract one hundred eighteen paise minus seventy seven paise is equal to forty one paise. Now we are left with rupees ninety nine in the rupees column. Subtract rupees eighty one from rupees ninety nine. We get rupees ninety nine minus rupees eighty one is equal to rupees eighteen. Thus, the difference is rupees eighteen rupees forty one paise. Multiplication of money. I was thinking about multiplication of money. I wonder how it could be done. The process of multiplication of money is similar to multiplication of ordinary number. For example, to multiply rupees forty four twenty three paise by three, multiply the amount written under paise column first by three, then multiply the amount written under rupees column by three. Thus, the product is rupees one hundred thirty two sixty nine paise. Division of money. Does the process of division of money is similar to division of ordinary numbers? Yes, let us understand it with the following example. Divide rupees seven hundred ninety-two eighty-four paise by six. Divide the figure in rupees column first by six. 
When we get the remainder as 0, bring down the figure in Pese column and divide it by 6. Thus, 792 rupees 84 paise divided by 6 is equal to rupees 132 14 paise.